Will animals take over the world someday? Well, maybe with a little help from us, (laughs) at least for the fish and the birds. In just a few short weeks, we've seen a driving fish, a golfing bird, and a doctoring chimp. Let's take a look at the latest from Study Finds, where we invite you to like and subscribe for the latest information. Have you ever wondered if a goldfish could drive a car? Well, apparently someone has. Oh, I'm so glad we have video of this. A goldfish in a tiny robotic vehicle is proving that animals from different environments can still find their way around when you take them out of their comfortable habitats. The smart people at Ben Gurion University of the Negev have successfully taught the tiny fish to navigate in a car on land. So don't be surprised if your next rideshare driver is a halibut. To test this fish out of water theory, sort of, they attached a set of wheels under a small goldfish tank. Using a specialized camera system, they recorded and translated the fish's movements into directions for the wheels, going forward and back and side to side. During the experiment, the team tested whether the goldfish was really navigating the car to a certain spot by placing clearly visible targets on the wall outside the fishbowl. After a few days of learning the system, the fish could successfully move the car to the target they wanted to see up close. And just like my wife, the fish even showed an ability to recover and get back on track after bumping into a wall. See, the fish didn't even have to stop for directions either. I'm vindicated, although I'm pretty sure that was not the point of the study. A PhD student in the life sciences department in the faculty of natural sciences, or goldfish expert, said, quote, the study hints that navigational ability is universal rather than specific to the environment. Second, it shows that goldfish have the cognitive ability to learn a complex task in an environment completely unlike the one they evolved in. Next week, can porpoises learn to fly a 747? Just kidding, but really, am I? Stunning videos captured a chimpanzee applying an insect remedy to her son's wound. This chimpanzee mom is wowing scientists after a wildlife video captured her applying insects to her son's wound in an attempt to heal them. Researchers from Osnabrück University say a team was watching chimps in the wild of Gabon as they applied insects they caught to wounds and the wounds of their loved ones. Susie the chimp was inspecting a wound on her adolescent son, Sia's foot, before catching an insect out of the air, putting it in her mouth, pressing it between her lips, and then applying it to the wound as her daughter, Sassandra, watched. Scientists say the behavior they have never seen before shows the primates can show love and empathy for each other just like humans. After they made the discovery in November of 2019, the team started looking for more evidence of this wound-tending behavior. Over the next 15 months, they unearthed 76 more examples within the same group. It's not yet clear why chimps use insects to treat wounds or which ones they pick out of the air. Scientists say the unique behavior may be a way of relieving pain. Okay, we're going to take a longer, uninterrupted look here at this video. This is Freddy. He's the one laying on the ground there, and he's going to try and catch a bug and apply it to the wound. Just incredible behavior. So he tries to grab the one, and it looks like he missed it. And then he's going to try again here in a second. And then you'll see, when he lifts up his arm, he's got an injury to the inside of his arm. And watch when he's applying the smushed-up bug. You'll see he kind of winces, it looks like, or jumps in pain. So clearly it's uncomfortable right there. And they say that they've seen this numerous times in the wild with this group of chimpanzees. Now this other one, this is the uh, female Susie catching the insect, and uh, she applies it to the open wound of her son, Sia, who has an injury on his foot. You can see she's laying there, and then she gets up, and there's a bug. It'll be just up to her right. Boom! Okay, so she caught the bug, and she puts it in her mouth, and you can see her son just sitting there kind of watching. He reaches up for her. Now he lays back. Now what she's going to do is grab that and also apply it to the wound while his sister is watching. It's an incredible video to be able to capture this and this kind of dynamic behavior that, as the scientists say, it proves that there is a bond here of empathy and caring. Cockatoos can play golf. 
brings new meaning to the word birdie. <laughs> Get it? Well, a birdie making a birdie. More of this cool video in a second. Let me explain to you what's happening. Researchers at the University of Veterinary Medicine in Vienna say cockatoos are capable of using complex tools just like early humans to play golf. Now, I don't mean early humans played golf, but they did use tools. In this case, the birds held a stick with their beak to guide a ball into a collapsible platform to release a treat. Well, it's a beautiful day here at Augusta, ladies and gentlemen. Our friend the cockatoo now up for a shot. 18th hole. Could be the win. He grabs the ball and play. I, I noticed no caddy for this cockatoo. Seems a bit discriminatory. Got a breeze out of the west by about 10 miles an hour. Very light. He's getting ready to line up the shot there. Uses his foot and his beak with such dexterity. Now he's going to take a shot to the right, hopefully for a success here on the 18th green. And look, oh, and it's a wonderful shot. Oh, beautiful day here at Augusta, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a look at the replay as we throw it back to you in the studio. Ah, wonderful coverage. Dr. Antonio Osuna Mascaro investigated the innovative problem-solving abilities of a particularly tool-adept bird, the Gofin's cockatoo. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if it was the Golfin's cockatoo? They should change it. He came up with the idea of a golf-induced task after passing a course on the way to his laboratory. Like they say, necessity is the mother of invention. I, I presume he sucks at golf, just like me. Osuna Mascaro said one of the most amazing things was each bird tested invented their own technique in how to grip the stick and hit the ball, sometimes with astonishing dexterity. Eleven cockatoos participated in this study, seven adult males and four adult females. Three found the solution by themselves. Two more cockatoos solved the puzzle, but they did not reach the specific goal to count as an official success. Six loser cockatoos were unable to find a solution. <laughs> oh, everybody's a winner. Don't feel bad. Like I said, I suck at golf too. Maybe they should have sent around the beverage cart. Another important fact is that this experiment requires a series of abilities similar to the nut cracking of chimpanzees. However, chimpanzees need years of practice to master this skill. <laughs> I learned that slipping off the pedals on my bike in third grade real fast. These cockatoos were able to master the golfing challenge within 10 minutes. Take that, you stupid chimps. <laughs> Find more detail on this and other studies at studyfinds.com.